fellow Full Sail students. I am try I'm going to try to help you today um, make your videos for class look better. I know some of you uh, have to record videos for class and the only camera you have is the one on your MacBook. So I'm going to use my MacBook camera uh, and show you how to make the best of this camera and make your videos a ton better with just a few simple adjustments. The first is to take um, a careful look at your surroundings before you start videoing. Uh, make sure that there are no poles coming out of your head. Uh, make sure there are no um, horizontal lines crossing through your head. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it, it looks better that way. Um, this is actually kind of a cluttered background here. Uh, my, my choice would be to have a, a solid wall behind me, but this provides a good example. The other thing is make a, pay attention to lighting sources. Uh, if you'll notice, there's a light right here. This is bad. Um, not to get too much into cameras, but the camera is trying to expose for the brightest spot in the, um, in the scene. And that is that light. So if I turn this off, you should see that the light is, my face should be brighter now because the camera's not exposing for that light anymore. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to get the camera up higher. We need to get the camera closer to eye level. So what I'm going to use is a couple phone books. Uh, I have one here and I have another one behind the computer sitting on top of a shoebox. So we're going to take that we're going to take those and we're going to stack them up. And now we have the camera much closer to eye level. So this looks better. Now the only thing that could improve this would be lighting. So I'm going to show you um, I'm going to show you my improvements that I've made with a simple light setup. So there you should notice an immediate improvement just from um, a very simple lighting setup that I have here. Uh, let me show you how I did this. If you look over here, um, I have a light from the hardware store. Um, you know, it's, it's real simple. You can pick these up at Home Depot for two or three bucks. They have a, um, a light bulb inside, uh, you know, a really cheap light bulb that you can get for like 99 cents. I have two sheets of paper and a, um, a clothespin on here to provide a cover to soften the light a little bit. And I've clamped it to one of my daughter's chairs simply because that's what I had available in, in a round. Um, and I have another one of these on the other side. Right there. Same thing. So... Those two are sitting and positioned on either side of me, lighting up both sides of my face. You see, now I don't have those black holes right here that I had when the lights were off. Now, if you have another camera available to you, um, it would be much better than this camera because this camera's it's okay, but it's not great. Uh, if you have a point and shoot laying around somewhere, a lot of point and shoots will do video. This is a point and shoot I've had for um, about six years. I got this in 2005, right after Hurricane Katrina. It's you know a four and a half megapixel camera or five megapixel camera from Kodak. It shoots 640 by 480 video. Um, you know I also have one of these you know ubiquitous flip cams. Um, you can pick these up for like a hundred bucks or sixty bucks on eBay even. Um, I won this one in a contest online so you know it was free. And then if you happen to have uh, a modern day DSLR, this is a Canon 7D, see I'm right there. This thing shoots phenomenal video. Uh, it shoots 1920 by 1080 and uh, you can make some excellent looking video using this camera. Um, 
Editing it is a little bit more labor intensive because of the file sizes and it will eat up hard drive space like you can't believe. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that these tips will help you create better videos uh, and believe me, your teachers and your fellow students will thank you for this. Uh, watching videos, you know, where people are dark or, you know, the camera looks up at them like, like you know, they're looking down at a, a dog or something. It's just, it's painful to watch. And just a few small things could um, could fix it. One, one thing about Windows, um, try not to shoot your video with a window behind you. Uh, if you have a big window behind you and it's the same as that light back there, it's going to make the back of the image very bright and it may make you just a silhouette. You'll be really, really dark and it'll be hard to see you. And then people will be looking uh, at the brightest thing in the image, which is the background, and they won't be paying any attention to you. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys. Bye bye.